everybody. Thanks for tuning in to Border City Rock Talk, where you get great news, great interviews, great interviewees, and sometimes a comedic touch. Uh, before I bring on my guests today, I would like you to hit the subscription bar and the notification bell so you don't miss any of these great interviews. And without further ado, I bring to you Mr. Eric Martin. How are you doing today, Eric? I'm good, Ernesto. What's going on? <laughs> hey, like always, I'm a million bucks shy of being a millionaire. Um, just wanted to touch base you with you. That, that used to be the story of my life. Okay. I know. And then and then I made millions and now and now my kids and, and all the wives have it now. Anyway. Oh man. So I'm back to the beginning. Here we go. Yeah, for sure. But um doing well. Obviously, um everybody's seen uh, well I've been following your career for years, but this last 12 and a half months I'm like how many countries have you hit? Two are you to South America, Europe? Yeah, name them. <laughs> we'll name drop countries. Um I started out in March. And I think it was, um, it was started, actually the first gig was Ecuador. So it was like Latin America and then South America, March, April, and then March, April, May. And then June, July, August was uh, Europe with Avantasia, my rock opera that I'm a part of, yeah. and as well as playing acoustic shows, mm -hmm. June, July, August, kind of into September with my partner, Dave Cottrell, from the band Demon from England. Mm -hmm. Him and I traveled around Europe, England, um, Ireland, UK, uh, just, oh, UK is England, right? Uh, I'm so I'm so, so scatterbrained right now. Yeah. Um, Dave Cottrell, and then also another guy from Avantasia, this guy, Oliver Hartman. Yeah. yeah, We played together as well. So then I came home for about 10 days. I'm talking like you. I'm going to, a boat, a boat, a boat. Uh, 10 days. And then I went out on tour with uh, Michael Schenker for yeah. 23 shows around the United States. And I had a, a core band with me. For, I started out, they asked me to uh, play this tour acoustically. And it was just going to be me and another guy, maybe uh, PJ Farley, yeah. you know, my yeah. my partner in crime, or this guy, Paul Pesco, playing uh, acoustic guitar and it's just going to be the two of us and i and there was a there was a band excuse me there was a band called images of eden that opened the show and when i was doing this i was like oh this is ridiculous they're playing like major prog metal and then it's kumbaya in the middle and then michael shanker and i'm like oh this is ridiculous so so i hired uh jason hartless from ted nugent uh, for drums paul switched from the acoustic guitar to electric uh, PJ played bass just like it's it shall be, and and we rocked. And I, I you know, the first couple of shows were really like kind of shaky, but oh man, it was it was. I would have loved to stay on this particular tour for a while, but I had to come home for a wedding. You know, life goes. On. But um, then uh, just recently, I went to back to Latin America and South America. Yeah. So I've been home for about four or five days. Children turn 18 years old, twin boys, Thanksgiving. Yeah. In the interim, um, I was in Chile and I was uh, stuck in an elevator, I swear to God, in a hotel. And, uh, the, and the elevator wouldn't open up for a long time. And I got angry and I punched the elevator, which I think I kind of sprained my hand here. So I could still play guitar, but yeah. Uh, but I can't wipe my ass. No, I, I could, I, I can still play guitar, but I can't, you know, it's yeah. slowly, it's hard to close it, mm -hmm. you know? Well, I can so, see you know, I, I will go to the doctors eventually. Right on. I can see a little bit. Of, I can see it's a little swollen actually from here. Right. Look, here's this hand. Yeah. Look at that guy. Holy jeez. Don't want to I know. Man, I, I, you know, don't ever flat palm. Uh, don't, don't fight. Okay, in general, okay. But yeah, I, I yeah, I was like pound on the elevator, and then it just went, oh, God, yeah. boom, and I heard it, man. It just went. It sounded like uh, it, it just it sounded wrong. It, it felt like you know, in those comic or the movies, the Marvel comics or yeah. whatever the movies. It, like I hit it, and I, I just felt it go. <laughs> oh, yeah, yeah, wasn't good. Well, um, did it turn out the way it uh, would if you were to slap a jukebox and you were Arthur Fonzarelli? Did it start moving? Uh, <laughs> that would have been cooler. The elevator didn't open up. 
it took another 10, 15 minutes of me just sitting there with an aching hand, sweating profusely because it was, it was butt hot in Chile. Mm -hmm. And, um, yeah. And then the elevator opened up and I go, Oh, sorry, senor. You know, Hey, this, you know, it happens. And I walked out with just, you know, egg on my face, just felt really stupid. And yeah. this is going, this is, if my hand could talk, it would be, it would, it would punch me in the face. We'd go, you, <laughs> you are an idiot. You know? I love, I love it. I love it. You're always entertaining when we talk here. Um, yeah. And I love, I love South America. I've uh, backpacked through Peru and stuff, but I mean, yeah. So anyways, we're going to get to the questions. I've got, uh, well, you've got millions of fans. I've got um, three of mine. Um, no, kidding. On, I've got a lot of friends on Facebook and stuff and Twitter and Instagram that are your fans. And we decided to see if we can do a QA and a with Eric. And you said you'd be up for it. And I appreciate it. So uh, without Bring further it. ado, can I uh, get to the first question for you? Bring it. Okay. I'm going to put on my spectaculars for this. So, oh, good. Now we're professor. Friends. First question comes from Mackenzie Gilbert from Coralville, Iowa, I think that is. What are your favorite songs to sing solo, Mr. Big, or covers like you did with Timeless, Mr. Vocalist? Um, I I mean, some people would say, you know, you love singing to be with you all the time. And I, I do, but, you know, it gets old after a while. Um <laughs> I like singing the song by Mr. Big, uh, uh, Super Fantastic. Yeah. It's one of my favorite songs. It's oh, just such a simple song. And it's, uh, you know, just, it, it, it resonates with me. You know, it kind of reminds, this song is actually about, a little bit about my father. Um, how he looked at the world uh, sort of with rose tint glasses. Sometimes he'd, He'd be watching the TV and there'd be all this war and turmoil and chaos and stuff. And most people would think to themselves, man, we got to do something about this. But he would just get up and turn the channel. Oh, that, okay. That's how we did. You know, you know, like a lot of older folks were like that, you know, back in the day. But anyway, and a lot, a lot of people, some people are like that now, you know, which is shame on them. But uh, and the whole song's derived around this this uh this story about my 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 dad and right. all the old folks around me anyway i love playing that song and uh but i and as far as covers man all morning i've been listening to the struts are you familiar with this yeah yeah, yeah. Oh, great rock and roll band i mean kind of kind of like uh, um a retro kind of a thing where like rod stewart uh, yeah definitely jagger definitely freddie mercury this yeah. kid's a great singer, uh, Def, like Def Leppard, Mappa Hoople, yeah. kind of cool 70s, glam, fun rock. And uh, they have a song called uh, Strange Days. And I, I mean, I, I don't know if I, 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 I couldn't do it better, but I would just love to do it because just for the fun of it. Mm -hmm. Yeah, that's a great song. I'd love to cover. Cover wise, um, I mean, not to get all melancholy, but there's a song that I did on one of those on that album that she's talking about called Timeless. Yeah. Uh, it's a song called Time After Time. So oh, yeah. And I did kind of a cool version of that. I had this guy, Jake, uh, Jake Shimabukuro, uh, played ukulele. He's kind of a famous ukulele guy, good looking guy, plays arenas and stadiums. Um, and he played on that song. So it just gave it a little kind of different feel to it what a beautiful song that is so right i love that cool uh thanks uh eric for that yeah and for sure <clears throat> big uk uh um genre that you mentioned with um the struts um Stress. second yeah. question comes from michelle from australia i forget forget where she is in australia but um if you had 24 hours to do something you've always wanted to do what would be your perfect day that's kind of uh, a my, question. Yeah, that's a great question. Um, I'd like to spend it with my my sons because I can never get them on the phone. Yeah. Um, <laughs> yeah, they're 18 now. They're so super busy hanging out with their friends all the time, you know, which is great. And that's what, yeah, you know, that's what boys do. But I'd love to uh, just hang out with my kids, maybe go somewhere. And and not, you know, maybe travel somewhere together and not play music because 
then it, you know I, I can only imagine yeah me dragging them around the countries that have been to you know I remember when they they came to Japan to see me and they were like I I know uh Jacob uh, my one son he just fell asleep through the whole concert and Dylan was so jet lagged out I remember seeing him just going you're great dad it's fantastic <laughs> he's all tired and but I I love to play I'd love to travel with my my sons around the maybe around Europe somewhere or I'm I'm sorry it was just like my perfect day mm-hmm. it would be great to spend like really longer yeah. longer than four or five hours just making breakfast and small talk with my kids I'd love to spend a whole day with them that's awesome yeah, yeah. and they just turned eighteen and they're twins as well correct obviously yes this is uh, yeah yeah this, this is, is uh, this is true. Question. Yeah, sorry, man. Right. I'm, I'm. You're catching up, and I'm fumbling around in the dark here. All right. right. Well, you have a couple um, burnt light bulbs upstairs there. I mean, <laughs> I, just... I do, man. These lights burned out, and that's why it's so kind of like dim and dark right here. I didn't plan it like that to make. Yeah, the, this is my kind of filter. I just like bust out three lights in the top of my ceiling, my track lighting, just so so I can look younger. Yeah, it you just you, you use that uh, donkey slapping mitt that's swollen. <laughs> yeah, it, 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 none, none of that shit works, man. Cool. Okay. Oh, look, you know, you ever seen that kind of stuff? Oh man, I mean, no offense to folks out there that don't care for the way they look nowadays, or what you know, they get older, or they don't. I don't know what happens. It's just life gets in the way. Yeah. But like they put like so much dream filter on the on the face and stuff it's just oh, yeah. it's just you're not fooling anybody and it doesn't look good it looks like japanese anime yeah it's just, i mean it's just look i'm hiding behind where are you where'd you go <laughs> i'm hiding behind these glasses because i'm i'm sure oh i mean this is you can see this is europe south america latin america <laughs> there's the movie in italy. Italy. <laughs> yeah but come on just let it go let it go and if they ever want to meet you and they pull out uh, one of those, it's like, okay, we'll meet here before the show. And then they show up and you're like, no, that's not you. <laughs> you know, this, I, I've been making this joke for years and it's, it's, it happens all the time. People come up to me and they'll go, Oh my God, I, you know, I loved you so much back in the day. Or, you know, like I had your posters on my wall and Oh God, you're so great. Great singer. And they and they they go, God, you look so young, and then they, and then they come up really close and they go, oh. <laughs> they go, uh, hmm, oh yeah, my bad, you know they they, they get the black crow's feet, <laughs> you know, yeah, anyway. yeah. Well, it's just the sign. Hey, I mean, just it's all right. Hey, look, look, I I'm I'm as old as the hills now, you know. I, some somebody was saying this to me in Europe, like a journalist was talking to me about something and he goes, you're a legend. And I'm like, oh, oh God, well, thank you so much. But anytime you hear the word legend, the next stop is like death. Yeah. You know, you know, it's like, oh, you're a legend. And then like, whatever happened to him? Oh, he's dead. Anyway. Yeah, it's like, where, where, in the, where are they, where they're in the, where are they now file? If you're a legend. I, I, I got to stop um reading uh press somebody was telling me about um well pj farley is going to um he just left yesterday for australia with with uh chris jericho fozzy you, you, you know all those guys yep. um and they're going to australia and he goes hey have you been to australia e I go, yeah a couple times solo things and and i i just did a tv show last you know and maybe in the beginning of the beginning of the year and i watched i watched that show that i was on it was like this morning show and then and the, this uk paper called the daily mirror or something like that maybe or yeah. just some some rag and they go and they had a picture of me from that television show and they wrote about me and they said eric martin is unrecognizable <laughs> like oh that killed me you know i mean like Hey, look, I don't have all this, the beautiful curly hair and the, and, you know, I'm not 30 years old anymore, but uh, they go, unrecognizable. I've had the same fucking look. Sorry for cussing. It's all right. Uh, 
for like 30 years. No, yeah. not 30 years, maybe 20 years, mm -hmm. you know? Anyway, punches. whatever. God damn it. Boom, punches the elevator. Ow! Anyway. I was just watching uh, your video of Shine because I love that song. And you had the short hair back then too. Same look, just an older face, yeah. you know? I had a, oh, I was just watching that Shine video as well. I was like, what the hell was I thinking? I was wearing dicky pants. So, yeah, I, I, I fashion myself, or I don't know if that's the right word. Yeah. You know, as a skater back in the day, and I was a skater back in high school, and then so uh, here I'm trying to be like kind of skater boy in that shine video, wearing like kind of button up shirt that's probably like buttoned like this, you know, crooked or whatever, dicky pants, and I had a chain that looked like a dog car collar with a with a a lock on it like a, a lock that you lock your storage closet with you know i don't know and i'm like coming in probably wearing like adidas you know shoes i mean i i had a i had a really fun time doing that shoot and i and i um i mean it's been about a year but i noticed for the first time i'm watching this uh i never seen it before this one part when I'm singing and I go and I look back like this, I'm going, what am I looking at back there? And on the, uh, there's a big sign that says shine in these little letters on the wall. Mm -hmm. And it was just the E. And I go, oh, I never noticed that. The di di the director had like some kind of a cool moment right there. And I, I, I was like, what am I looking at? Just do it. You know, that's awesome. <laughs> that motivation, just turn around. I'll fix it. Anyway, anyway. <laughs> sorry. That's all right. That's great. I love your answers. There, you, you don't just give standard cliche answers. So I've got question three here. Okay, it's from Fazio and Green. Please cease and desist contacting our client, Ms. Bouchard. Oh, um, I think that was a. Uh, that's got to be um, April Fool's joke from last year. Anyways, question four. <laughs> Good job, uh, Thela from Italy. I'm sure you know who she is. What do you think of Eric's she devils? What do I think of I, I don't really I've only met a few of them. You know, um, so I, I call myself like I have my own nickname, mm -hmm. uh, the little devil. Oh, it okay. could be a little monster, depends on my mood, Mr. Sunshine. <laughs> mainly, <laughs> mainly the little devil or Mr. Big Mouth or whatever. And I think uh, they, you know, they took, they ran with that. The little yeah. devils, she devils. They're pretty inquisitive bunch. Yeah. You know, uh, they ask, you know, they ask me about my day all the time. Um, <laughs> they're, 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 they're hardcore fans. Yeah. And, and I, yeah. And I appreciate the, all, you know, it seems cliche to say it, but I appreciate the love and support mm -hmm. that they give. They are they're pretty, they're out there. They're, they got a network. They're, they're, the sh it's the she devils all over the place, man. They get a lot of people come up and they just go, uh, they go, yeah, I'm your biggest fan. They go, I'm a she devil. It's like, uh, <laughs> it's, like a, it's like one of those, um, uh, underground societies, you know, skull and bones, Illuminati. You're Illuminati. She yeah. devils. I think they're just really, uh, I mean, a lot of girls. I'm yeah, she of course they're girls. She devils. Maybe they'll start a he devils. Please don't. She devils is fine. I'll, yeah. I'll go. Well, go well, she incorporates he, so it's right there. Yeah, I don't really. Uh, I I met a few of them around, and I am. They're all over my Facebook, and everything's so far so good. You know, they're they're. Uh, they're harmless. They're not, you know, no, nobody's out. They're not, they're true believing supporters of me. Yeah. Nice people. Too. And Mr. Big as well. I'm pretty sure. Yeah. And, I've talked to a few of them uh, through Facebook and social media and yeah, they're just really good fans and they promote. They're you really good that. fans. Yeah. 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 And they, they travel all over the, all over the world to come and see me. So, you know. Oh yeah. Like Diane. That. Diane D. I won't give out her last name, but yeah, she. Uh, if you're uh, within 500 miles, she's at your show. 
Yeah, she is. She's a great chick, man. I mean, she's she's a uh, uh, an unrelated cousin, kind of. You know, like anybody calls somebody. A, I met I met her and um, and Laura and a, and a, a few of the other girls in um, Chicago or St. Charles. Yeah. The, yeah. Um, at, at the Arcata Theater. And we played our show. Then I was hanging out with the trickster guys at that at that show. And we did our show. And then we went upstairs to the speakeasy, like old 1940 speakeasy of this uh, theater. And they were they were all hanging out and drinking. And so was I. And it was all dark. And I go, you're my cousins. And then it stuck. You know, there they uh, were cousins for life now. It's awesome. Awesome. Yeah, yeah, good people. Okay, I got a question. New Metal Cinco 5. Oh, this is a bit... Uh... Right. Okay. This uh, is a doozy. Are you single? Uh, no. Okay. All right. Well, there's your answer. Dave from Chicago, Illinois. Who asked it? Who asked that? Uh, I'm just joking okay. around. It, uh, okay. All the girls asked, but uh, I figured, why not, Dave from Chicago? Uh, hey, I'm look. Um, I don't. I don't know how to ask. I look. I'm. I'm not married anymore. <laughs> well, I don't. Yeah. I'm not laughed at that. Again. No, I was just. Yeah, I'm a serial husband. I've been. Uh, I'm mar married a couple times, and oh, I, didn't work out. I kick myself. Every time for that, because I know a uh, problem. Um, I just, it wasn't I, they, too bad. They they just weren't meant to be. Yeah. But um, I, uh, I, don't, I it's, kind of, it's not a, it's not a really hard question, is it, Eric? Nobody asked me if I'm single or not. Nobody really cares. Um, but yeah, I'm, I'm spoken for. Okay. Well, I mean. There's a lot of hope, ladies. I'm just kidding. So, no, I hope it goes good, Eric. You know, in all sincerity, man, you're a good guy. Um, I already asked that question. I can't ask that again. I'm, 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 I'm for clamped. I'm flushed. For clamped, isn't that? Wasn't that Saturday Night Live with uh, Mike yeah, yeah. Myers? Caught I used to do it. If I would get like embarrassed or like you know, right before a photo session, I go, "Nature's rouge." All right, I'm good. <laughs> Okay, I got a question here from... I'm losing my freaking questions. All right, no, here we go. Um, oh, Mike D. from Newcastle, UK. Wants to know if I'm single? No. Um, I Well, he would have heard by now because he's watching the interview. But no, right. he's asking, and this is in the last 24 hours, my friend. This is starting to move. Um, if you give a yes or a no, that'd be great. But he would like to know, and everybody would like to know, as we heard in the last 24 hours, some positive answers. Can you confirm if Mr. Big will be getting together and recording new music in 2023 and or doing some shows together, obviously with a a, a different lineup, um, unfortunately because of the, the passing of the late Pat Torpy. Um, can you confirm yes or no if um, that is true? Yes. That is awesome, man. I've got an exclusive. Well, I mean, not... not I'm not uh, I'm not 100 on the recording part, mm -hmm. but I'm uh, yeah we're we're gonna we're gonna do it. That's awesome. Can we're I gonna, ask? We're, we're definitely gonna tour. That is awesome. Can I ask a couple questions that I'm gonna ask? Um, is it gonna be Paul and Richie, or Paul or Richie, or there, do you know about that? And who would? Uh, and it, they're huge shoes to fill, obviously. Um, but yeah, I can't a drummer selected i can't really talk about the drummer yet yeah uh, but we we have somebody we're looking at okay um the the paul and richie question that is so funny you you think like me a little bit you know it's definitely going to be paul come on um it's got to be the og but i always uh i always like that kind of i i would love to have richie be involved yeah. He, he he would be anyway. He he'd be like, nah, it's your it's your band. I just did a couple albums, but yeah. those were great albums that cool. he did. Yeah. You know, if we did a tour, 
I mean, not if we do it. We are, we're definitely going to tour. I don't know when, but it, it will def, it will be in the middle sometime of 2023. It's time to do it. And it's, and it might be even time to say goodbye as well. I, cause it, 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 you know, it's like every four or five years or something like that, or it was unfortunate because Pat passed yeah. and I know if he was still here, he'd, he, he would have pushed for touring, you know, years ago, but um, I don't know. I, I think um, I, I don't know where we're going, but we're all, we've all agreed to, uh, to, to do it, to go on tour. Oh man. Yeah. That's, so that's, I, I'm excited about that. I mean, it, it it is time to do it because um, there's no better band that I've ever been in. You know, I've played with a lot of great musicians. I mean, tons and I don't even want to name them. You know, they're just some, t tons of really talented guitar players, bass players, drummers, keyboard players, singers. Mm -hmm. But, you know, playing with my boys, Billy Sheen and Paul Gilbert, um, they're the best of the best yeah. and, and playing Mr. Big, you know, I, I've been playing Mr. Big songs for like a better part of, you know, five, six years now, mm -hmm. incorporating that into my, in my set and, and, and it's become like a huge, almost like a tribute to Mr. Big. Yeah. And it's been great. A lot of incredible players like the, these, these folks that I play with in, in South America and Latin America, great, um, artists, but you know, they would be the first to admit, you know, that we're not those guys. We yeah. we try to emulate them, but we're not those guys. There's nobody better than uh, Billy Shane and Paul Gilbert right at on. all for me. And and I'm looking forward to playing, uh, you know, the the Mr. Big songs. You know, the the core set. You know, the Daddy Brothers and the Addicted at Rush and Colorado Bulldog and all that stuff, and all the ballads and all that. But I want I'd love to do some of the songs that we never have done before you know i i attempted to play a song that was on the 30th anniversary of uh being into it a song called stop messing around and i did it a couple times in chile i think two shows and yeah it was cool but it felt it felt really weird playing with other people mm -hmm. it was a song that um didn't make the cut for lean into it I mean, it could have been a, you know, stop messing around or to be with you. I'm like, oh, let's do to be with you. You know, yeah. stop messing around, didn't make it. And that was a great, and there was a lot of great songs that didn't make it on a lot of records. And I'd love to do those songs, you know, the obscure ones. And maybe do a couple albums in the, in, an, in its entirety. Maybe the first, the second, the third, who knows. Mm -hmm. But uh, getting back to, to Richie, if this is our last tour ever i mean i miss i i i always ask paul gilbert you know god what can we play shine can we play super fantastic can we play these songs yeah. and you know hopefully he says yeah sure why not you know there's so many songs to choose from yeah i don't want to i don't want to ruffle any feathers this time me and my big mouth but i you know that's that shine song. It's it's funny. Yeah. Richie wrote a great great tune. Uh, that I put that in my set, and every time I play it, I never really feel quite. People go nuts. You know. I'm gonna uh, put that song. song in the description bar below. Uh, so, the three people in the world that haven't heard the song, <clears throat> it is my favorite. To be honest with you, I like everything Paul did as well, guitar wise. But it's yeah. one of my favorite songs in the way of a ballad. And just when I used to be a half marathon jogger and stuff like that, that was one of my songs in the set list. Because if you're a runner, yeah, you need motivation to keep you going. So you need those. And that, yeah. that song used to come in at the, about the 45 minute mark of my run. And it kept me going. So, yeah, I appreciate that song. Yeah. A little, little more up-tempo than a ballad, but a little yeah. less tempo yeah. than a heavy Mr. Big song. Yeah. Yeah. A lot of when it first came out, there were naysayers, you know, naysayers is that a word? Yeah. Um, they were like, oh, this is not Mr. Big. It's turned into a Mr. Big song. It's just, it's the, the harmonies are there. It's it. <clears throat> hey, look, they, the naysayers, 
<laughs> said the same thing about to be with you. So, yeah. you know, it's just a great driving song, you know? Yeah. Man, not a lot, not a lot of frills and guitar dynamics, everything, but the solo itself is pretty, pretty unique. Yeah. Look, yeah. Todd's a great, but on this particular tour, this would be the OGs of Mr. Big, Paul Gilbert, and Eric Martin, question mark, you know. And you never know. You may, you might go through a town where you know uh, Richie's in. Maybe Richie can jump on stage. Who knows? But anyways. We'll and you know that. what? You know what? He would. He would. He's, he's that guy. guy. You know, years ago, this is kind of a, I'll just make this really quick. Years ago, we played um, Hong Kong. <clears throat> and um, I think it was Hong Kong. And they, they had these, we, we checked into the hotel. We finally get there. And Richie Cotson is opening to Mr. Big. You know? And we get to the hotel and there's all these posters. And I remember seeing this big van and had, and the way it looked, they, the way they put Richie Cotson and then Mr. Big, they put all five of us in one row and said, Mr. Big, tonight. And it was, I thought it was hilarious. Yeah. I mean, I'm sure some of the guys in my band went like, well, this is unacceptable. But I, I thought it was hilarious. They're like the Mr. Big Orchestra, you know. Anyway, sorry. It's all right, man. A um, couple more questions, and I'll just let I'll let you go because I know you're very busy and you got a show on the second or third in Florida. I, I do. Can we can we just can I do a little push for that? Yeah, well, definitely. Can I do that? Okay, yeah. So I've written it down. So, but um. Yeah, December 2nd, Jacksonville, CNC Event Hall. Uh, and then uh, December, look at me, I'm squinting and I still wear glasses. That's okay. Sweetheart, get, get my magnifying glass. Anyway, <laughs> December 3rd um, in Tampa at the Brass Mug. And yeah, I've got five more. I, I, I have probably played maybe 90 to a hundred shows, I feel feels like more this year, wow. myself, and with Aventasia. And so these, there's five more shows. These two in Florida, and then three in the uh, in the East Coast. Right. Daryl's house. Um, I got a, a private, like a house, actually a house party. It's kind of cool. It's in Pennsylvania. Wow. A house party, living room, acoustic show. Yeah, it's not it's not even advertised, but uh yeah, that's gonna be I've never done one of those. And then um Debonair Music Club in New Jersey. Woohoo! So uh these five shows, this is the last look at my hands are all messed up. These five shows uh are the last of 2022. And man, I've I've had a wonderful uh time. I am so burnt out. Thank God I, I I get like, you know, I've had like maybe five, six days now to just acclimate to my little teeny condo condominium and just kick back, hang out with the kids, relax, sleep, all uh, this touring away. But uh, I'm going to be rested. And Florida, I'm really looking forward to it. I got like family and friends coming. So, and maybe the She Devils will show up. Maybe I'm sure they're probably they're yeah. getting they're filling up they're getting oh, they're the gas. Well, right I can now. only hope. They'll be anyway. There. Yeah. Anyway, get back really quick, Ernest. December second, CNC event hall. Everybody dance now, right? Uh, <laughs> CNC event hall. Um, opener is going to be Paul Sapira with Neil's Gang Band. Okay. And December third, Tampa Brass Mug. Opener, same same guys, and there's gonna be an after show as well. Playing with me on that show is uh, Ben Hands, percussion player. Should, let's see a show with Hands. Um, uh, he 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 plays percussion with Kip Winger. Yeah, he's been playing with me for so long. People just say he plays with Eric Martin. Sorry, right. Kip. And uh, Mark Holly is the yeah. guitar player that. Uh, I, we've, we've been playing in bands for years. Um, I've known him for like 40, 
years now. Anyway, he'll be playing. Great guy, great singer, great guitar player. Yeah. Wears his hat backwards, looking cool, <laughs> keeping that keeping that look alive. Yeah. And um, yeah, the three of us will be doing that those two shows. And at the the East Coast run, those three will be me, PJ Farley, Paul Pesco from Hollow Notes, and Jazz Hands, Ben Hands, <laughs> uh, percussion. Right on. That'd be great. All right. So, Sorry, man. You yeah. you lost your train of thought. No, I, I didn't. Just... Actually, you taught me something during our last interview. I don't interrupt you anymore. <laughs> Ernest, I'm so sorry. Hey, I do. Uh, that, that's probably, yeah. That was funny. It was a funny interview. Everybody loved it. It was great the way that the back and forth went with the slings. No, it was awesome. I appreciated that, man. Look, I like talking to you. That we only get to talk on these kind of podcasts, so I just treat it as you're my bartender or my psychiatrist, and I just belly up to the bar and spill your beans that away. Yeah. All right, I got two quick questions here. Um, with that tour with Mr. Big in 2023, um, hopefully, well, it's not really a question, it's a statement. Hopefully, we see you back at uh, Sioux, Michigan at Kuwaitan, where I saw you doing your acoustic show with PJ. Um, yeah. It's a great turnout. And it'd be great to see in Canada, so whoever's managing and booking this, we don't just have igloos and snowmen up here. We've got really hardcore Eric Martin and Mr. Big fans. Rush. Yeah, yeah, and I'm right. yeah. Um, I would love to come back to Canada. I wish, like, I don't, you know, I have a few agents around the world mm -hmm. and, uh, and 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 promoter friends and all that, but, you know, no real big management. And I would love, except PJ Farley, right? And uh, I would love to go to Canada. Oh, Canada, shut up. Um, <laughs> yeah, that's about it, as far as I know, here. Look at look at these kids right here. Ah, uh, just wonderful kids. Wonderful kids. Oh, look at they're like they're probably like five there. They're big boys now. Yeah. Well, it's it's so disheartening when, you know, like every birthday, there's a little wall over by the kitchen. And uh it, we stand there and I, I measure to see how tall they they they've been getting, you know. Mm -hmm. And it's like six, four. Six three, and they go, You you do it, dad. I'm like, uh, and it's like, I mean, I might as well be four feet tall because it just looks ridiculous, anyway. Yeah, big discrepancy. That's what's true. All right, um, what's your, what's your what's your next line of thought? Well, next, next line of thought, you brought something up since you're showing off stuff. I'm going to show off this. Um, I think let me see it. I can't see it. Yeah. Oh, I love that. I yeah, saw I mean, that. It's my Border oh. City Rock Talk mug, and from here on, I think I got 420 subscribers. When I get to the 500th subscriber, I'm going to take all the names and put them in a the hat. So everybody subscribe to the channel. And if you get your name pulled out, I will email you. No, I'll, I'll send you that mug and uh, I'll get somebody to sign it. Somebody famous, not me. But anyways, last question, Eric. You know what? You should uh, pour something in it. You know, something, spirits, kind of spirits in and, and then send it instead of have somebody sign it. People Will this spill. Yeah. No. Go ahead. Move on. I'm <laughs> I'm overthinking. All right. Okay. So what is the opposite of unsubscribe? Subscribe? What do yeah. I win? This guy is brilliant. Yeah, no. And I'll, yeah. Yeah, I get a I get a mug with my signature on it. That'd be great. That'd be awesome. So subscribe to the channel, everybody. So you get great interviews from great interviewees. And as you've seen a comedic touch, I'd want to thank Eric once again. And thanks for that big news that we can finally confirm that Mr. Yeah. Big 2023 will be doing some shows. So I'm going to put everything in the description bar links to Eric's um, Facebook, his uh, website and everything. So you get all the tour dates and all the merch and all the different uh, things that he's uh, Florida. Florida, 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 and Florida. Everybody uh, hit uh, the Florida panhandle. Where, where's the Florida panhandle anyways? Is it everywhere? I don't know. Okay. I'm not, I'm not hip to Me it. Either. So but just consider. December 2nd, December 2nd Jacksonville. Yep. CMC Event Hall. Yep. Um, CMC Event Hall. 
that's, that's, uh, that sounds big. Huge. Be big. Mm-hmm. Uh, and December 3rd, Tampa, the Brass Mug. Not huge. Great show, though. I mean, like, people come far and wide to go to the Brass Mug. It's, uh, it's a historical Brass Mug. All right, man. Good. Thanks again, Eric, for your time, man. I really appreciate it. Oh, man, anytime, Ernest. Anytime. Look, I could have, you know, I could have done the Rolling Stone magazine. I could have done, you know, you know, um, you know, um, Howard Stern, but I chose you, man, because we're, we're we're tight. My bro. My bro. Yeah, we're we're tight and uh we we honor each other. We we're have tight. integrity. <laughs> All right, Eric. Take care. I'll chat with you, man. Cheers. Bye bye. See you. I'll edit this out, Eric. Thanks a lot for your time, and I'll uh, get this up, and I'll send you a, a link if you want to share it for me. Great. Yeah. Right on, Ernest. Hey, okay, buddy. Thanks again. All right, man. Bye. See you.